Hi, my name is Kevin Gesheski, and I'm going to give you a brief introduction to Widget Builder. Before we do that, I just want to go ahead and review what a standard Umbraco page looks like. It uh, can be whatever you want. It has several properties here, uh, rich text editor, so text box, text area, checkbox. The idea here is that these are fixed and finite, so at design time, you have to decide how many boxes you want on there. So what Widget Builder does to improve upon this particular model is allow data editors to have field sets that are collapsible and at runtime they can actually decide to add more than one box or widget as we call them to a doc type and uh, they're sortable the nice thing is is you can use your uh, front end editor to read in the actual sort order of the data and actually show it on the front end now to build a widget you just come to the developer section create we're going to go with widget my widget and we're going to create a simple widget by adding a title and a text area or I'm sorry a title and a tiny MCE so we'll go ahead and select those two we do have to give them some element names that will show up in the uh, XML cache go ahead and save that and now we're required to come here and add my widget to the page so nothing new here works just like any other property except that there is my widget and hit save and now when I come out here to my widget builder sample page I now have my widget as a separate property so again the properties are really a rich property and they have uh, a bunch of abilities here and so each widget can comprise of basically all of these things that you see here. Some options are only available if you install, for instance, the Digibiz Advanced Media Picker or the Spreadsheet Uploader. Um, a lot of these other options are standard out of the box. Um, one thing you can do, um, if you notice down here, you can limit the widgets to one or more. So if I go ahead and limit my widget to just one and I refresh the page, you will see that the buttons go away and they're only allowed to have one so if you still want to retain like a field set type feel and not give the editor the ability to sort or create new ones on the fly you can just restrict it that way another thing you can do is you can inject uh, custom jQuery JavaScript CSS any kind of styles that you want through this right here and if we we're using Visual Studio or whatever your editor might be even notepad plus plus we could just simply save this uh, to, to the custom JS file that is come back out here and when we reload the page you'll see that now we have a hook into the widgets so what you can do is you can use jQuery to actually assign behavior to the boxes here so if you wanted to limit how many characters the editor could put in there uh, you could do so by, through that custom JavaScript. Um, there's also a custom CSS file that you can apply custom styles. And the nice thing is, is these files right here can be specified to a different location and different widgets can have different paths. So if you have want to attach specific behavior to a specific widget, you certainly can. And that's a, that's a high level overview of what Widget Builder is. Widget Builder has so much more built into it. And go ahead and check out some other videos. And uh, we hope you like it.